Hi, welcome to SFG Cards and Craft. Today I'd like to show you how I did this card. Um, this card, or should I say the cat on this card, to me seems like it has such a surprised look on its face, so I had to do something out of the usual with it. Um, the stamp that I've actually used on the top is actually one of the little house mouse stamps. Um, I can't remember quite what it's called, flying something or... It is actually basically a little mouse that's attached to a by a string to a flying butterfly. Uh, and that, that's all there is to it, it's just a butterfly and the mouse with a string between. Uh, so I've obviously masked out for the mouse, uh, for the butterfly and just put the mouse in there. Um, but the, the cat to me, as I said, just had such a surprised look on its face to try and see this little mouse trapezing across the ceiling. Uh, the colour that I'm working on at the moment, this is uh, antique linen, just for the walls. Uh, you'll notice that this set of cards that I'm doing, anything that's indoors, I'm actually using the antique linen for the walls uh, and sometimes on the floor, but I think this one I'm actually using brown for the floor, like for floorboards. Um, just finishing off now with the antique linen. I've, I've got the mask on the cat there, so it's uh, not going to get any um, colour on it. The little mouse hasn't been masked out, but because it's going to be done uh, in greys, it's not really going to be a major problem. Uh, and there's the uh, background, the um, the wall, but that's basically is the wall behind. So I assume the little mouse has probably attached himself to a fan. Uh, it's probably spinning around and around. I, I don't know. <laughs> um, but anyway, I, I thought it was quite cute the way he is doing that. He looks really happy spinning around there or flying through the air. Uh, just taking off the mask now so the cat's all nice and white. This one I'm actually doing it as basically as a white cat. But of course, even though a white cat needs to have a little bit of shading on it, so it, it does look a little bit grey, but it is supposed to be a white cat. Um, doing the floor now. This is putting the divider between the floor and the wall. Just using a Copic marker number 0.1 just to do that. This one was actually a fairly quick simple card to do. Um, like the uh, one of the other ones was quite a quick card. It only took about 15 minutes I think to do the whole card after the stamping was done just to do the whole thing. And I'm putting in a little mouse hole there. Uh, like a little home for the mouse. Just using the pencil to mark it in first, and now I'm using the Copic marker just to uh, ink it in. I might listen to some music now, um, and um, we'll get back to you soon. Thank you.
Hi, I'm back again. Um, just about finished now. Um, the eyes I'm actually doing those, I think it was in mode lawn. Um, I've just also looked up that little stamp set with the butterflies and the mouse on it, and it's called Kling Butterfly Ride. It's a Stampendous um, Mouse House, sorry, House Mouse Design Stamp. Uh, so that's what it is, if anyone wanted to get that one. It's quite a cute one, it's, a, it's just a butterfly that's on the other end of that string that it's holding onto, which I masked out. And using the Copic marker just to put the line on the eyes. The eyes later on, off screen, I actually do use uh, glossy accents on them. And uh, there's the card finished. And uh, I did put a little crack in the wall leading away from the mouse house, mouse hole, sorry. Um, so if you like this, please subscribe and um, click the like box. Thank you. Bye bye.